In this video, I'm going to complete example four and we're going to learn how to add mixed numerals. Now, when you add or even subtract mixed numerals, there are two methods you can use. Method one involves converting the mixed numerals to improper fractions first and then adding or subtracting them second. Now, I'm not going to show you method one simply because I've already done videos that show you how to convert mixed numerals to improper fractions. And I've also done quite a few videos that show you how to add and subtract fractions. So there's really no need for me to show you method one. I'm going to show you method two instead. Now, I actually prefer method two because when you use method one, when you convert mixed numerals to improper fractions, you get these really large numerators and it makes it really difficult to add and subtract these fractions. Okay, so method two says that we need to add or subtract the whole numbers and the fractions separately. So I'm going to show you what I mean as we do example four. Now when we add up our mixed numerals, it's important that you add your fractions first. So for question A, we're going to add up the fractions three-fifths plus one-fifth. The good thing about this is the denominators are the same. The denominators are five, so our solution will have a denominator of five. And when we add up our numerators, three plus one, we get four. So that's nice and simple. We just get the fraction four-fifths. Now we need to add up our whole numbers. Our whole numbers are two and three. Two plus three makes five. That was a nice simple example. We got the solution five and four fifths. Now moving on to question B, it's going to get a little tougher now. Looking at our fractions first, we've got seven over nine plus two over three. You might have noticed that it's going to be tougher because they have different denominators. That's not too difficult. What I can do is I can take the fraction two over three and I can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by three. What happens when I do that? Well, two times three is six and three times three is nine. Now I have two fractions with the same denominator. The other fraction was seven over nine. And of course we need to put our whole number next to that of one. So we're still at the point where we're trying to add up our fractions. What is seven over nine plus six over nine? Well, the denominator stays the same. It stays as nine and seven plus six is 13. Now that I've added up my fractions, I need to add up the whole numbers. Now there's actually only one whole number, the whole number of one. There's nothing to add it to. That's fine because we just put the one next to our fraction. It equals one and 13 ninths. Now you'll notice that we have an improper fraction and you should never ever write a mixed numeral with an improper fraction. It is not allowed. How do we fix that? Well, we're going to convert our improper fraction to a mixed numeral. What is 13 over 9? Well, 9 fits into 13 once with a remainder of 4. Okay, and remember that the denominator stays the same. It stays as 9. So all we've done is we've converted our fraction 13 over 9 to 1 and 4 ninths we completely ignored our whole number of one here. So what are we going to do with that? Well, we're going to bring it down and we're going to add it to our other whole number, our other whole number of one. What do we get when we do that? Well, one plus one is two. So we get two and four ninths. That's our final solution for question B. Moving now on to question C. We add our fractions first, and you'll notice that the denominators are different again. So how are we going to change it so that they have the same denominator? Well, I'm going to multiply 3 quarters by 3. This is going to give me a denominator of 12. 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times 3 is 12, remembering to put my whole number next to it of 3. Next, I'm going to multiply 5 over 6 by 2. The reason I picked 2 is it will give me a denominator of 12 as well. 
5 times 2 is 10, and 6 times 2 is 12. We need to put our whole number next to it. We are still trying to add our fractions first, but it's a lot easier now because the denominators are the same. The denominators are 12, and when I add the numerators, 10 plus 9 gives me 19. Next, I need to add the whole numbers, 2 and 3. 2 plus 3 makes 5. So I get the mixed numeral 5 and 19 twelfths. Remembering that I'm not allowed to have a mixed numeral that has an improper fraction. We need to convert that improper fraction into a mixed numeral. 12 fits into 19 once with a remainder of 7. The denominator stays the same, it stays as 12. So we get 1 and 7 twelfths. We haven't carried down our 5 yet. So if I carry it down, I'm going to add that 5 to the 1, like so. 5 plus 1 is 6, so I get 6 and 7 twelfths. That concludes our video. On example four, remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.